the day. Extravagant living every day. Someone may ask, what is the source of their money? I give and take is the business. If you don't get money, hide your face. See them coming. I, 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 and I am too. I, ladies of power, slave queens in the and I am too. See them coming. I, they are slaves. And I am too. Always live in a fake life and every day they and I am too. I make you not envy them all. Their type of life will is cut ahead of slay queens in the campus. I, I see them coming. I, and I am too. Uh -huh. Chike. Uh -huh. Um, Konya, Konya Silas. Oh, hello. I'm um, sorry, are you Mr. Silas? Uh, yes, uh, what can I do for you? Um, you are the husband to the student, I mean, the lady that schools at the State University? Yes, Veronica. Yes, actually, she had a fatal accident. Oh, well. She's ill, we need to my, sign and undertake My wife! Huh? You like me, Veronica? Sir, huh? listen to me, this will not help the matter. You just have to follow us to the hospital and sign and undertake him, so she can be free and be safe. Is she alright? Is she alive? What happened? You ask the doctor where we get there. Come on, please. Sorry, Agaba. Let me get to the house and get some money. There's no time. There's no need for that, okay? We have enough. You have to help me and go and tell my people. Oh, so what's wrong? Baba, baba, gaba, 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 gaba. Oh, oh, oh. There's one, there's one. Oh, oh. Don't go to school now. She come come pass through the road. Hey, she come to misbehave. They follow bad girls with the waka. Hey, but she forgets something way sweet to the kill me. She go and die way. She forgets a split to the kill you. That shot got you follow. They lead you straight to destruction. What sort of life with a peace of mind? What shall we gain in living fake life? Vero, what happened to you? Veronica, what happened to your dreams and aspirations? I've been a year in Gohendo. Vero, what happened to you? Ooh. Your dreams and your aspirations. I've been a year in Gohendo. The road don't go so cool now. She couldn't come past through the road. Hey, she come to misbehave. They follow bad girls with the waka. Hey, but she forgets something way sweet to the kill me. She go and die. Veronica, would you smoke? Young lady, what is going on here? Well, I actually brought you here so you can see the kind of reckless life your wife lives with her proper. Really? Please, man. <laughs> I don't know him. What? Can someone tell me what is going on here right now? Veronica, you don't know me, your husband. Your husband? 
Are you drunk? No, are you high? Oh, Natasha. Is this the best you can do? <laughs> you're so cheap. Mr. Man, I don't know you. I don't know what you're doing here. Look at you. You don't know your level. Do I look like someone you can, you, you can wife? Babes, you don't know me too well now. Oh I know God. they like slim guys. I know Kukuma, they like fair guys. Yeah. What is he talking about? I don't know him. <laughs> Natasha obviously paid him to do this to me. Of course. Oh. To embarrass me. But babe, yes. I win, OK? Nothing they happen, I win. I don't know this cheap man right here. I'm just trying to understand what this drama is all about. This is your schoolmother here. He's denying her husband, though. This is your husband now. Your fine I'm bobo. Come shut up there. Why is you know? deny your husband? Because of the Asharamu to work where they do. Because they do Ashawa work. I make you deny your husband, your friend, Bobo. <laughs> so you're not even proud of him. Listen, <laughs> girls. We don't have time to waste with all these cheap girls. Not at all. These are uh, non entities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I suggest we move. No. We move. We move. <laughs> no more. <move. laughs> I hope she paid you well. I hope she paid you well. Your plans are still. Well, um, oh. hey, Poppy. It's okay, I understand how you feel. I mean, see your wife. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'll give you some change to get something for yourself and also your transport to go back to your wretch house. Follow me, hungry man. What sort of life with that peace of mind? What shall we do? Living fake life. Vero, what happened to you? Veronica. What happened to your dreams and aspirations? I've been lying to you. Go ahead and do it. They know what happened to you. Ooh. Your dreams and your aspirations. So tell me, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? How did I miss all the signs? I feel like I'm brain dead. Now I feel like the biggest moron on the planet. <laughs> How did I miss all the signs? Just imagine the way my own wife denied me before all her indecent friends. <laughs> Silas, my joy is that I have been vindicated at last. When I was telling you that I saw your wife. Silas. It's okay. Just calm down, be a man. It's good you went and saw things yourself. So tell me, what are you going to do now? It's over between us. I don't ever want to see her anywhere close to me again. Well, I, I wish I knew what to advise you on this issue. It is only a man who wears the shoe that knows where it pinches the most. Just calm down and be a man, okay? Take heart. What do you think living high is the best? Veronica, how could you? How could you deny your own husband, no matter what? You have not only sinned against your husband, but against God and morals. Where is your conscience? Where is your heart? Oh, Veronica, I am disappointed. I regret everything I did. I didn't know what came over me. Honestly, I feel like taking my own life. I want to take my own life. No. I mean, no. Nothing is worth taking one's life. Oh my God. Nothing. The deed has been done. We have to look for a way to heal the wound. And a heartfelt apology remains the only solution. Apology? You think you will forgive me after everything I did? Even God cannot forgive me. <laughs> I didn't know how I got myself into this mess. How 
could I be so blind? How could I be, be deceived by the devil because of the love of money? <laughs> of what use is the education and money if I lose my family? If I lose my peace of mind? Of what use? Hey, God, God, God. <clears throat> Crying is not the solution. But I still believe one thing. That what God cannot do does not exist. I need him to do this one. I need him to do this one for me. Oh, this he is will. time to prove himself. He hey! He's crying. It's not the solution. I still believe that what God cannot do does not exist. Hey! Jesus. <clears throat> um, my son, let's come and sit down. Oh? Sit down. Papa, like I said before, I am done with your daughter. This marriage is over. I shall meet with my people so that the marriage not can be untied in the former official way. Hey! Hi! Veronique Mukwanumbikonu. What have I done to deserve this? What have I done to Veronica? Um, huh? My son, I have nothing more to say. You've taken your decision. Let's be waiting. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ogasai. Ogasai, last, please. Please, allow her to come in and talk to you. Please. sinned against you. I have sinned against God. I do not deserve your forgiveness. But please, my love, my husband, find a place in your heart to forgive me. At least for the sake of our love. For the sake of our son, please forgive me. I beg you in the name of God, please. Oga Silas, please. I'm on my knees. She is regretting her actions. Oh, yes. The devil used me. Oh, the devil. I see. Oga Silas, please. Remember what God cannot do, does not exist. Eh? Also remember what the Bible says. Oh, the Bible? Yes. Uh, um, don't worry, let me get the Bible so that we can see that uh, passion together. Okay, I am coming. Yes. I want to hear that version. You have to forgive those who sin against you so that your Heavenly Father can forgive you. I'm coming. Eh? Help me talk to my husband. Help me talk to Silas, please. 
I, I've tried talking to him. I've tried begging him, but he's not listening to me. Please, help me. He, he, he doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't even want to see me. Please. Veronica. 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 I am so much disappointed in you. Where is your mother upbringing? Get those so many names, Where are the very good own training I gave to you? Where are they? You deviated from them and took to smoking and immorality. This is the one that is scattering my brain. Immorality. You were rabbiting in Aquico. You left your husband and started sleeping with other men. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Who did you take it from? Who taught you? Onye Kuzirigi. I'm ashamed of you. In Aquico, what do you call that by Adam? Nakwa, Nakwa. Umu Mokanese, Inese. When men are smoking, you are smoking. You are not ashamed of yourself. If you get me boom. Hey! Veronica, you should be ashamed of what you just said now. You want us to go and beg him? Shame on you. You are a disgrace to this household. Nonsense. None of us should intervene in that matter. Neither your mother nor I. You are the architect of your own agony. You should go and beg him, not me. You are a scallywag, a bizarre guy. Ooh. If you know where you took your bath, go there and pick your clothes. Hey, my Sararo. Jet your dog, doggy. Nonsense. See this. You see, Father, I've been sleeping with men for money. I, 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 the, the worst part of it is that I, I denied my husband when he came to the school to see me because I, I didn't want my friends and other people to know that, that I am married. Father, I don't know what to do. The guilt, the sorrow is haunting me every day. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't want to live this life anymore and I don't know how to beg my husband. I don't know if he can still forgive me. <laughs> My daughter, your sins are too grievous. Our God is a merciful God. He promises to forgive whoever repents of their sins. According to his word, though our sins might be as black as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they might be as red as crimson, they shall be as white as wool. I shall personally take you to your husband, as instructed by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. I will appreciate if you do that for me, because I've taken friends and family members to meet him, but he's always furious and violent. I believe he will listen to you. Please. The ways of God are different from others. It is his wish that I solicit on your behalf. Pray with you as well. 
But before then, you will have to renounce those sinful friends of yours because they are the one who lures you into the sacred world. I've denounced them already. I don't have any business with them again. I've turned a new leaf. Good, so let us pray. Father, I bring your daughter into the throne of grace. I pray and ask that you have mercy upon her. Wash and clean her. Let me talk to your husband. Eh? The Lord will take control. Okay, Father. Thank you. Father, uh, welcome. Good day. I'm fine. Please come inside. Oh, I think we should sit somewhere outside. Uh, okay, let me get uh, let me get chairs. I assume you are brother Silas Owoka. Yes, Father. I am Reverend Father Timothy from Water Parish. Oh. You are indeed favored because the Holy Spirit sent me to bring a blessing to your household. Ah, I'm excited, Father. Glory be to God. I have a message to share with you. What is it, Father? Have you heard of the story of the prodigal son? In the Bible? Uh, yes, it's a familiar story to every Christian. Good. Can you share that story with me? Uh, of course, Father. Though not in details. But I know he was a bad son from a wealthy home who demanded for his own share of his father's inheritance against his father's wish. His father willed monies and treasures to him, which he used in traveling to another land. He squandered all he got from his father, and he became poor. He had to go back to his father to ask him for forgiveness. When his father saw him, he took compassion and pity on him. And not only was he forgiven, but a great feast was hosted to celebrate his return and repentance. That's the little I know of the story, Father. Interesting. A good storyteller you are indeed. So tell me, what did you learn from this? Forgiveness. Forgiveness, indeed. Do you realize that we are all like the prodigal son in the eyes of the Lord? Because we have all sinned against him, and yet he forgives us our sins. He even sent his only begotten son to pay ransom for our sin. If God can forgive us freely our daily sins and countless sins, will it not be too bad if we refuse to forgive our fellow human beings who sin against us? It is, Father. Brother Silas, why have you hardened your heart and continued to sin against the Holy Spirit? How, Father? You speak in parables. I don't understand. Your wife. I am sorry, Father. 
Father, if it's about that one, just forget it because it will work. To err is human, and to forgive is divine. For the forgiveness of your sins, one man shed his blood to forgive you. Why won't you forgive without a price? Uh, Father, that's impossible. If it's about my wife, I cannot forgive her. Do you know what she did? That woman is a Jezebel. She practically ruined my life. I saw her with my optical eyes. I've heard that. Have you forgotten that God forgave Saul, despite all he did? Do you also remember that God forgave Solomon, despite all his atrocities and shedding of blood? Why won't you forgive her? Why do you harden your heart? Please, find a place in your heart and forgive her. Have you forgotten what happened to Pharaoh and the Egyptians because of their sins? Brasilas, sit down. God is speaking through me, to you. It's his wish that you forgive your wife, Veronica. I know she has done something that hurts you so much. I want you to forgive her. It doesn't matter what it is. Find a place in your heart. That is all I am asking for. <laughs> I loved her. I respected her trusted her and treated her like a nice husband. But what did I get in return? <laughs> but she betrayed me. She paid me back with tears and anguish. What did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? Brasalas, I understand, but it's okay. God is omnipotent and omniscient. He knows and sees beyond us. He has a reason for everything. Please, all I am asking for is forgiveness. Find a place in your hands to forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, brother. I want you to forgive your wife. Please. May the good Lord take control. May he shower his peace upon you. You are blessed. side with me yourself and with God. Honestly, Father, I have come to realize that no matter the transgressions, God is ever merciful to forgive our sins and bring us back into his kingdom. <sighs> Father, all the bad things I did, I do them no more because I have found peace in Christ. Oh, yes, Father. We have come to you with this, with this seed offering to thank God for restoring my beautiful wife 
and also to beg him to bless our home with wealth and children around our table. God bless you, brother. Our God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. been going on? You've been scarce. Amanda, I have been busy. Hmm. Too busy to see your friends. This is unfair. Um, mm -hmm. um, Vivi, this one that you're putting on something like this, I mean, what's this? When did this one start? Listen, Amanda, I am now a changed person. I am not into this wrong thing again. And I suggest you do the same. Okay? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, 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 I just remember something now. Claudia called. And um, she said we should get ready that we are going to Abuja. You know? We are going to see a senator. He said he wants threesome. And I, Claudia wants three of us to go for it. Guess how much involved? Five million naira. Babe, we don't have ma. Hey! I am not interested. <laughs> You're not interested? You heard me. I said I am not interested. Like I said before, I've quit this wrong thing and I suggest you do sin. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Stop defiling it. Wait, when did you start sounding so irritating? What has come over you? God. Um, anyways, I am not here for your sermon. Since you are not interested, don't be jealous when I return with my range of sports. <laughs> Vanity upon vanity. Anyways, I am out of here, Vivi. See you later. Excuse me. Please stop calling me Vivi. My name is Veronica. Thank you. I'm sorry, Pastor. Martin. The man Natasha brought to this campus is truly my husband. I denied him because of my foolishness. But thank God that he has forgiven me and we have reconciled. For real? She go enter highway. She forgets her speed to the kill you. That shot got you follow. The lead you straight to destruction. What sort of life without peace of mind? What shall we gain in living fake life? Vero, what happened to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Veronica, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened to your dreams and aspirations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been like, yeah, you go ahead and do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vero, what happened to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dreams and your aspirations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been like, yeah, you go ahead and do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the money, no problem. <laughs> now you sure you remember what you promised me? Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Me, I get the money, you go to a Me, you go to a for money, you go to Oh, oh my God. <laughs> See, get me one bundle, one bundle. Oh, one bundle. Oh, oh, I'm not joking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Me, I'll get her for money. I know. I said one bundle, not all. Okay, sorry, sorry. One bundle, not all. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my 
I get up for money. I go show you, I go kick get the money, I go kill you now. Get me another one. 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 the top money. Are you all right? You look pensive. What happened? You've no head. Head what? <laughs> Amanda and Claudia were found dead. Dead in a hotel room in Abuja. With their eyes and breast gone. Jesus! <laughs> no meet this. Tell me that you're joking. Jesus. Darling, you won't believe. Look, 
I know it's about the death of your friends. But you cannot continue to live like this forever. You can't kill yourself. Remember they knocked on the door of death and the devil answered them. You should be grateful that they didn't even convince you to follow them in the first place. However, God knows the best. Okay? Cheer up, baby. Cheer up. Guess what? I have good news for us. Okay. You sure you want to hear it? Good! You remember the Japanese company I told you that duped me of huge amount of money several years ago? The one that rendered us in this penury, in this misery. You remember now? Yes. Good. They turned out to be genuine. You won't believe it. <laughs> Honey, they called me today to apologize for the delay in delivering the consignment. And as I'm talking to you now, the goose has finally arrived in the country. Mm? Not just that. They are even willing to compensate me with the sum of 10 million naira eh? for the delay. I'm telling you, baby. Hey, <laughs> oh, our God is great. Wait, 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 listen. Silas, I'm not in the best of moods, okay? I hope this is not a joke because baby, I'm not. Baby, I, do I even look like I have a sense of humor? I am not joking, I'm serious. 10 million naira. We are back. We are not just back. We are out of this penury. We are multi-millionaires, baby. We are made. Wait. You mean 10 million naira plus the goods? 10 million naira, the goose, and other valuables. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Baby, we are made for life. You will never live in poverty again! Hey! Our God is great. I am so excited. He has done for me. He has done for us. No, he has done for us. He has done for us. What my mama cannot do. He has done oh, for us. What nobody cannot do. <laughs> oh, man, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Brothers, I want you to know that if you continue to serve God, if you continue to be faithful to Him, he will see you through any situation in this school. Believe me, do not go and join bad gang. Do not go and join cultists for your own good. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. For it will not do you any good. If you continue to be faithful to God, at the end of your days in this school, you will magnify the name of God. For he is worthy to be praised. Do you understand? We will meet again tomorrow after next show by 4.30 for our evening worship, okay? Okay. All right, have a nice day. Get up because our saints are as dark as charcoal. I know, but we don't, don't have, you can't kneel down for me. Please, please, please. we are kneeling down for Jesus. Please. See, we came so you can help us talk to God. Tell him we are sorry. We've changed, we've repented. Look at Claudia, she is dead. We're not even supposed to be here today. The party they attended, we're even supposed to attend the party. But thank God he saved us because I, we, are, we know that he loves us. Please help him tell him to, to cleanse us. Eh? We, we have changed, we are different, we are totally different people now. I'm ready to serve him for the rest of my life. I will serve him until I die. Please. 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 <laughs> Lord of hosts, uh, mm, glory be to your holy name, Lord. Uh, for you are indeed an awesome God. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, to find you for your manifestation at this hour. Father, you are indeed worthy to be praised. Uh, we worship you. Lord of hosts, uh, your daughters are here. They are here on their knees, oh Lord, begging for your forgiveness. My Lord and my God, just like what you cannot do does not exist. The sins you cannot forgive does not exist. Oh, praise Master Jesus, somebody. Thank you, Father. My Lord and my God, I join my faith with your daughters. I join my faith and I plead on their behalf, oh Lord, for your forgiveness upon their life. Forgive them of their sins, oh Lord. They have come back to you, oh Lord. They are sorry of 
of their sins. My Lord and my God, forgive. Oh, ancient of days, forgive. The lily of the valley, forgive. Thank you, Father, because you are indeed an awesome God. Oh, Holy Spirit divine. For I know one thing, that what you cannot do, does not exist. Thank you, Master Jesus. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. I want you to know that you have to follow me to my church for total confession and deliverance. Oh yes, believe me, by the time we are done with you, the devil's grip upon your souls will be destroyed permanently. Amen! Shout hallelujah somebody! Hallelujah! Shout hallelujah somebody! Hallelujah! Thank you. 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 She come the misbehave. They follow bad girls with the waka. But she forgets something way sweet to the kill. She go and die way. She forgets a speed to the kill. That shot got you follow. They leave you straight to destruction. What sort of life with a peace of mind? What shall we gain in living fake life? Vero, what happened to you? Veronica, what happened to your dreams and aspirations? I've been a year in Goendo. Vero, what happened to you? Ooh. Your dreams and your aspirations. I've been a year in Goendo. The road don't go so good now. She couldn't come past through the road. Hey, she come to misbehave. They follow bad girls with the waka. Hey, but she forgets something way sweet to the kill. She go and the highway. She forgets her speed to the kill. That shot got you follow. They lead you straight to destruction. What sort of life with a peace of mind? What shall we gain in living fake life? Vero, what happened to you? Veronica, what happened to your dreams and aspirations? I've been a year you go and do. Vero, what happened to you? Your dreams and your aspirations. I've been a year you go and do.